हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी फिर क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट वॉन्टिंग टू जॉइन मोर्चेंट नेवी एंड आई म्यूजिक एक्सपीरियंट लेट्स नो अबाउट एम एट यूनिवर्सिटी विच इज लोकेटेड इन चेन्नई वॉट ऑल कोर्सेज आर दे ऑफरिंग वॉट इज एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया वॉट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दैम एंड लास्ट बट नॉट दिस हाउ टू नो वॉट इज गुड अबाउट एम एट एंड वॉट यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट लेट्स आर सो कोर्सेज ऑफर्ड इन एम एट यूनिवर्सिटी आफ्टर ट्वेल्थ आर बी एस सी नॉटिकल साइंस एंड बी टेक इन मरीन इंजीनियरिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट The best point about uh, MIT University is that three shipping companies, Merz, Synergy, and Vships, they provide sponsorship in this college. So, if you have a sponsorship, that is, you clear their exams before joining this college, and you have a particular course over here, say B.Sc. in Nautical Science or B.Tech in Marine Engineering, your job is secured. Yes, there are some conditions like Merz says you should pass all your exams in first attempt. You should not have any back or something like that. Else, we'll uh, we will not take you in. But else. Your job is secured. So my suggestion to all of you is, ki always ensure, try to ensure that you join Amet University with a sponsorship from Mer Synergy or Vishes. You have a sponsorship from some or the other shipping company. That is really important. Again, let's talk about uh, eligibility criteria for B.Sc. in Nautical Science. Minimum age is 17 years. Maximum age is for general male 25 years, OBC 28 years, for SCSC 30 years, for female general is 27 years. OBC 30, SCSC 32 years. The reference date for calculation of the age will be from the date of commencement of the academic session. Say so this is April 2023. Academic session starts from 1st August 2023. That means your age should not be less than 17 years on 1st August 2023, or your age should not be more than 25 years for general male on 1st August 2023. If it is not, then you can apply. Educational qualification: Candidate must have passed ten plus two with PCM with minimum sixty percent aggregate marks. English may it he should have more than fifty percent either in tenth or in twelfth. Physical medical standards: No color blindness for B.Sc. in Nautical Science. You need to have six by six in both eyes. Worst case, it can be six by six in one eye and six by nine in the other eye. Color blindness not allowed at all. Okay. Some key points: Open board and improvement candidates are allowed to join Amet University. But the question is: Is Merz taking open board and improvement candidates? Question is: Is Vship taking open board and improvement candidates? Question is: Is Synergy taking open board and improvement candidates? If the answer is yes, apply. Get selected in these companies. Go to Amet University. Jai Hind. No question asked. But if in case they are not taking, then uh, look for it and watch the video till the end because in the end you will have a solution as well. What to do? For getting getting admission in here in Amet, you need to pass IMCT exam. Total seats available for B.Sc. Nautical Science at three sixty. आगे बढ़ते हैं. Fees in B.Sc. Nautical Science is ten lakh fifty one thousand for three year course. Eligibility criteria for B.Tech Marine Engineering again age criteria is same as was in B.Sc. Nautical Science. Educational qualification remains the same as was in. Uh, Basic nautical science. The medical standards change for the eyesight. There should be no color blindness, but your eye can be six by twelve in both eyes, or six by nine in one eye and six by eighteen in the worst eye. This is the maximum that you can go up to. Okay. Apart from that, open board and improvement candidates again are allowed. Getting for for getting admission, name it. You need to clear IMC sheet exam. Total seats available three sixty. But last but not the least, the only thing that you need to know is Synergy, Mers, or V Ships taking open board and improvement candidates over here. Yes or no? Fees for B.Tech Marine Engineering is twelve lakh thirty one thousand for four year course. Later entry. Suppose you have done a three year diploma course from mechanical, electrical, electronics engineering from AICT approved colleges, then you are eligible to join second year of a four year marine engineering course. That is a later entry. If you have in that diploma course, you have got minimum fifty five percent in the final year. In the final aggregate of the diploma courses, if it is more than equal to fifty-five percent, and your diploma is from a AICT approved college, and your diploma is from mechanical, electrical, or these departments, then definitely you have to give your IMCT exam, and then you can join B Tech Marine Engineering later entry. But again, the question is: Are you having a sponsorship? Think about it. Or yes, suppose you you did your first year of B Tech. From mechanical or electrical engineering from AICT approved college with a minimum sixty percent in the first year, you can straight away join later entry second year into the B Tech Marine Engineering of Amity University. But again, you need to have what IMCT rank that is important. English plus age plus physical standards same remain. What I'll say it again: 
English not less than 50 percent marks in 10th or in 12th. Age criteria you know it is similar to that of BTEC Marine Engineering and physical standards also remain the same. Cop it? That is eyesight thing. Let's move ahead. Fees for BTEC literal entries one year fees is reduced, second year, third year, fourth year combined. It comes to around 9 lakh 41 thousand rupees. Aage barte. How to apply? Go to amitunif.ac.in. Admission is you will find this link over there. Click select your course. Go ahead and join the college. Last but not the least, before even thinking of not watching this video, please look into where you need to see whether you need to join Amit University and what all you need to do. And that is where this college portal that I'm going to discuss ahead is going to be your worst bet. Let's just see. So there has been time where students keep asking me, sir, should I join this college? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the placement criteria? How much is the waiting period? And these things keep changing. So I thought what to do. And that is where the idea of starting something like Google reviews on our own website, Merchant Navy Decoded came into my mind. And that is how on my website called MerchantNavyDecoded.com, I started a thing called college portal. So like when you have to book a, uh, when you have to book a hotel, you go for Google reviews. Now, if you want to go for a college, you can see what are the reviews, how is the standard. So let us see how you have, you can do. So you click on the college portal. Now, suppose you are a GME aspirant. So you will click over here. You are a ETU aspirant. You will click over here. You are a IMVC to your DNS aspirant. You will click over here. You are a GP rating aspirant. It will come over here. You are an aspirant for BTEC Marine Engineering. Then also there will be an option, option over here. And for any other course that comes with the time, it will be there. So right now, say you come to this course and you are interested in, say, IMUCT and DNS and you want to know about Anglo, right? So what you do is you click over on IMUCT and DNS Anglo and then suddenly you will see the highly recommended colleges from Merchant Navy decoded over here for DNS. So for highly recommended, you will see Anglo station maybe over here or it will be in the other college section. It depends whether AMA is good or not, but we'll recommend AMA for sure as of now. Then you will click over here on AMA. So when you'll click, you will see overview section. Then you can click, you can see all about overview. Then you can see the eligibility criteria, then the fee structure, registration process, syllabus kaisa hai, how is the placement record over here. Copy it in AMA, everything you'll come to know. Copy it. Then this is the say you, you click on the placement scenario, you get to see the placement scenario of AMA over here. But the most important thing is how students perceive this college, those who have studied over here. So now you can come over and see the rating. How good is Anglo in case of placement? How good is M, MI in case of waiting period? How good is training and well being of AMA over here? When you watch these ratings over here, that is where you learn, that is where you understand what are the right questions you need to ask and should you get into AMA or you should avoid getting into AMA. So this is one thing. Apart from that, it is a request. If you know someone who has passed out from AMA for a particular course, tell them why, whatever your review is, just go and share on this college portal. And yes, don't be scared. If you have something bad to share about any college, any course, just do that and post that review anonymously over here. Just posting it as no. Okay, don't show my name. Post reviews anonymously, yes. And your name will not come over. And that is how this college portal is not going to just help you, but every other person who is joining Merchant Navy. Thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata.